Remember back in the days when we had web scraping and did all the coding to scrape different kinds of HTML web pages online? We could do something like that with our customized coding. We have a long history of web scraping since the internet started in the late 90s and early 2000s. We used a lot of those old techniques in our offline applications, bringing them online and using regular expressions to parse all the HTML data. There were many methods for doing that as well. Nowadays, there's Python for web scraping, and we have better solutions for it. This is the ScrapeGraph AI. This is a pretty cool open source Python library designed to do online scraping, just like what we did before. I remember in the late 90s and early 2000s, we had to do a lot of coding for just one web scraping task. Now, it's really easy to do with just one framework like this, connecting large language models and scraping the specific information you need without doing all the coding and dealing with a lot of regular expressions. You had to parse all the HTML markup code and scrape only a small part of a web page, specific areas that you needed. And right here, as you can see in this diagram, ScrapeGraph AI uses different parsing nodes models to parse all the HTML nodes in different sections. It will use search nodes to find specific areas in that HTML page. Additionally, it has a smarter graph builder that handles all the markup language in HTML. It uses large language models such as Gemini, OpenAI, and you can use any other open source large language models available on Hugging Face or hosted locally using Olama as well. So how do we do that? First, we can do an installation that is really easy to set up. All you need is Python 3.9 or above, but not over 3.12. Typically, we use 3.10, which is good enough. Next, we are going to install the package. I think everyone has done this already. Lastly, we have Olama for running local large language models. I have a tutorial on how to run and set up Olama on a local computer. You can check that out. The link is in the description below. For ScrapeGraph AI, it is very easy to install. All you have to do is pip install scrape AI. This is the only command you need to run. However, it is highly recommended to use Conda or any virtual environment setup to use this library without interfering with your current system. Additionally, if you're on Windows, you can use the Windows subsystem for Linux, WSL, to install additional libraries. So let's try this out using some examples. Here. It shows the OpenAI models connecting, like ChatGPT 3.5 Turbo, and doing a scrape. As you can see, the scraping is really easy and simple, requiring just one function call. You just need to provide a prompt and a specific URL, and it's done. For local host models, like what we usually do using Olama, it requires a bit more configuration but is still easy. We can define our Olama using the top part of the graph configuration sections, and then the embedding text will use the local host as well. Both of them will be set in the graph configuration sections. Compared with the OpenAI settings, which use chat GPT 3.5 or 4.0 versions, you will need to provide your OpenAI API key in the graph config sections. Let's start by discussing how we can use Olama and everything running on our own private local hosting. This way, scraping will be more efficient and more private, securing your information. Let's look at these examples that I've started here. This is a command prompt window. First, you have to, of course, create a Conda environment. For example, we are going to use Python 3.10 and name the environment ScrapeGraph AI. We are going to start by creating a virtual environment specifically for running the ScrapeGraph AI in the Conda environment. Once it is finished, we will activate this environment by using Conda, activate ScrapeGraph AI. You will see the environment name in brackets, indicating that you are in this environment. I have a folder specifically for this project. Starting from here, we can use the command prompt to install ScrapeGraph AI by running pip install scrape AI and pressing enter. It will download the libraries for our local machine, specifically in this Conda virtual environment. Once it is done, you will see a success message indicating that all library installations are complete. 
Next, we will switch to Visual Studio Code to start coding. Just a small piece of code and we can start scraping. Let's start an example. In this one, it will list the title, image link, and descriptions in the return message, and we will grab this project link from github.io. The result is here. As you can see, I hit pythonapp.py. It will execute the fetch node and pass all the returned HTML data. Once we extract those rack nodes and update the chunk metadata, we put those for process. Lastly, we will generate the answers based on what the large language models understand. The final process is that the chunks are displayed in the JSON file with all this data outputting the project as a list of data here. So, the main objective of this script is to get what I have defined. In this code, I do a prompt, and it helps me define the title, image link, and descriptions from this link. And that's how the return value comes back like this. Although it cannot detect the image link, maybe there is some other metadata format, or maybe it's not using a text image markup to display the article link, but it is okay, we can still identify the title and the short description of each project. So this is it for web scraping. I hope this inspired you. Do some web scraping easier than ever, better than before. It is only using very simple code within the Scrape Graph AI. Large language models define it using Olama, and running Llama 3, we have embedded for LLM. Lastly, we run the Smart Graph to scrape a specific link that we want to define. So that is it for this video, and I will see you in the next one. Have a nice day. See ya.